Hi, Aquarius. Welcome to your August tarot reading. Uh, it's been a really interesting July so far. Um, and we're moving into August, starting with a full moon in your sign. So if you'd like to know more about that, um, we have our Patreon back open and you can for ten dollars only ten bucks you can get your rising sign astrology for the month of august you can get a mid-month tarot reading to get you through the month and i've also added i did a whole bunch of content in july there's a lot of astrology readings already up so you can learn about how venus retrograde is going to affect you how mercury retrograde is going to affect you that's already up uh, Mars and Virgo is up so yeah well, there's a lot of content on Patreon and um, August is starting off with a full moon in your sign so <laughs> you guys might want to go over there and check that out um, your rising sign astrology will be uploaded on the 1st of August so uh, I was trying to get it to the 31st because I wanted everybody to ready for the full moon but it's been a really busy month. It's been a really busy month. I also have my whole calendar open and I have some new shamanic offerings there to help you with inner child healing. Uh, I'm doing soul retrievals now and just regular shamanic journeying. Regular shamanic journeying. There's nothing regular about shamanic journeying, but uh, it really helped bring some answers into my life and really helped me to become whole. Um, I say that because there were pieces of me that were taken. My life force was kind of brutalized as I was growing up. And um, I feel more whole now than I think that I ever have. And that's a really big testament to what um, shamanism has done for me. So I would like to share that with you all. So if you're interested in that, um, please check out my website. All right, let's get a surrender card, Aquarius. Here we are. The power of surrender. Let's see what it is that Aquarius is surrendering. Oh, I like this one. Surrender your attachment to results. The formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen, then let go of the results. Holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it. The formula to success is surrendering your attachment to results. Letting it go. Stop trying to make things happen. They have that in quotation. Stop trying to make things happen. All right. Aquarius for August. <clears throat> okay. Actually, it was this way. So I love that. All right. Um, okay. So we have the Eight of Cups. Hopefully that glare isn't. Too bad. The Ten of Cups. We have I'm sorry, the Ten of Cups. The Ten of Wands. <laughs> wow. Ten of Wands. Uh, the King of Pentacles. And the Queen of Cups. I feel like... This is you coming to the end of a really hard, like, again, carrying that heavy load. Like, there's always that Ten of Wands. Like, you feel like everything is on your shoulders. So the Eight of Cups and the Ten of Wands is you really walking away from those things that are, like, way too much for you to carry right now. There's way too much for you to carry. And... um you're recognizing that it's time, like you can no longer uh, carry this load. Now, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. The King of Pentacles oftentimes is somebody who's a very like stable, um, maybe even like a financial advisor or like a loan guy, but it's like a, it's like a monetarily or physically stable 
uh, position, like person in our life. And then the Queen of Cups. So you could be dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. Um, but the Queen of Cups is the intuitive, right? The, the one to listen to. So I feel like you're putting these things down because you have help, right? Like someone's picking up the slack for you is what it feels like. Someone's picking up the slack for you or you're hoping there are people here that are willing to pick up the slack for you. Let's see. Eight of Cups. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So we have the Three of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles on the Eight of Cups. Clarifying the Eight of Cups. Uh, no amount of work is going to help you to ignore the pain and like that. Um, like I feel like the Eight of Pentacles is you because this guy, look, he's got his head down. He is really focused on what he's doing there. He's I had a, like cat hair on my nose. It was really itchy. Um, the Eight of Pentacles, he's like focused on what he's doing and he's not, you know, like he's so it's compartmentalized. This is the sun in Virgo. We do that. We compartmentalize shit so bad. Um, but the eight of cups is like, you know that you are emotionally attached to certain situations in your life. And if you ignore it, if you're trying to detach it, detach yourself from feeling the sadness by ignoring it, it's just going to come back. Like this is just going to hurt even more. This three of swords. So this is not the way to heal, right? This is not the way that we want to heal. So it's very, I feel like the removal of yourself from this situation may not be the greatest um, way to play that. Then we have the Queen of Wands on the Ten of Wands. So is there a fire sign that you feel like you're holding everything up for? Or... Do, are you the fire sign? Like you might be in that queen of wands energy and feeling like you're the, I mean, like this, it feels like you're overworked and it almost feels like you might be overworking yourself on purpose. Like don't shoot the messenger, okay? But that's what it feels like. It feels like you're overworking yourself and the attachment to results things is, like, we don't know how anything in our life is going to turn out. The only thing that we can do is focus on our part of it. Like, because we don't know what other people are going to do. We don't know how other people are going to act, how other people are going to respond. We don't know what other people are doing in their lives. So, and they can change things in our lives by the way that they're doing things in their life. Especially if you're connected to them. So... Um, it feels like you're overworked and you're kind of ignoring the fact that you should probably be asking for help. Okay. Um, so um, I have the King of Cups on the full. It's so funny. There's not one. The only air energy that came out here. Remember, you guys are air energy. The only air energy that came out here was the three of swords. So. Um, there's something new that's starting and it may be like a job, like work, like you're starting something new at work or you're starting a new relationship with someone or a new connection with someone. But I feel like these people are here. The King of Cups came out with the Fool on the King of Pentacles. Like, I feel like these people are here to help you move forward, to like help you get to the next position, to help you get to the next phase, right? Like this, there's this whole new beginning that it feels like is just waiting for you to show up for it. But you're kind of stuck in this really busy phase thinking about the attachment, you know, the, the results part. 
Um, and then the Six of Cups with the Queen of Cups. This feels very um, rooted in the past also. It feels very much like there's something like part of this non re like the these people are asking you to be receptive like we want to help you we want to be here for you we want to help move things along for you because we can see how much you're carrying and so I do I feel like people are like showing up for you in August in a lot of ways and Surrendering your attachment to results has a lot to do with coming out of survival mode. And we've been talking about being in survival mode a lot, especially with Venus retrograde. And, um, you know, when we're working through survival mode, it's very hard to um, change that perspective unless we have a soft place to land. If you don't have a soft place to feel your feelings, it's very hard for you to even believe that you can bring that armor down. Because what survival mode is basically armor. It's armor like just holding you up and keeping you up. You see? So allowing yourself to kind of bring that, it's, it's not easy to do, but with trusted individuals, it can be. And so I feel like there's kind of a new beginning, a new kind of set, set up for you to help take some things off of your plate. So I hope that that is a reality for you, Aquarius. Um, I love you so much. Have a wonderful August and I'll see you soon. Bye.